Greetings, I am Elijah, and I have a message for you today. There are many of you out there searching for guidance, for a way to move forward. You are searching and not finding it, and there are many reasons why. So I am here to shed some light on your longing, to shed some light on why things are not happening as quickly as you might want them to be. There are those out there that see things that they want in the way of gifts. They see things in the way they are living that they want to change. However, they are remaining dormant. They're really not changing anything. The negativities in their lives or the surroundings that they live in have not changed. You must make the changes. No one else can make the changes for you. God wants you to move up into the world, into your missions, but you have to facilitate that yourself by getting rid of the negativity, forgiving the sins, knowing what is truly yours as far as gifts are concerned, bringing the things to you that you need to move on in your mission. Many of you said, I have tried everything, and I still haven't moved forward, and I am still working on trying to find how to do what I need to do. Perhaps it's not your time yet. Remember to have patience. Remember that things cannot happen before their time, and sometimes people want to push and be somewhere they should not be too early. Remember. Pray and give thanks that your mission will start when it should. Many are waiting for their missions to start, but it is not time yet. The world is waiting on some things to happen. The world is waiting on experiences of its own so that you may start. Because if you start early, the meaning will be lost. But if you start at the right time, the words will be heard, the spirit will be felt, the understanding of all things will come as it is supposed to come. But remember this, in the meantime, as you are waiting, shed the negativity, do introspection, forgive those around you, be the example that you should be, love unconditionally, these are some of the things that are necessary for your mission to be as truthful as possible. You see many out there that have started their mission early because they had some kind of means to, and what is happening? The information is not quite right, or there is something not resonating with you when they speak, and so their mission, there is something there that is not quite fulfilled with their mission and they need to work on that because they need to be a pure when they speak they need to let the spirits come in purely the aliens come in purely and speak as they should speak and not put their own identity on it or they should have the right intention as well some are wanting to be popular some are wanting the money some are wanting gain over the spiritual result. You see, that is a wrong priority. The priority should be of the spirit of the truth, of the communication of purity to move forward with what God wants you to do. If that's technological information, so be it. If it's spiritual information, so be it. If it's um, alien communications to earth, so people will be understanding them greater before they come, so be it. But do not use the wrong intentions for your move forward. You see, only with the right intentions will the information come the way it should come. With only the right intentions 
will you be able to know true prosperity in the way that it is supposed to come from God and from the universe. You will find that you are rewarded for doing the right things, for being in the right intentions, for looking in the right directions. Look inside yourself. Why is it that you want to do the things that you do? Why is it that you want to heal? Why is it that you want to be a channeler? Why is it that you want to be an empath? Why is it that you want psychic energies? Is it for your own personal gain? It could be. And that is very human and very, very much a part of who humanity is. But remember this, put God in front of that. It could be for your own personal gain, but put God in front of that. Say, you know, I would like this for some notoriety, some thought process, but I want you to control all the messages because God must control it. And he will bring you into a place of humility when working with him because that is how he works with humanity. Oh, he will lift those up and they will be proud and speak very loudly and maybe have a good message or two. But if God is not in the center of all they do, then they will not go forward. There will be a point where they will stop. There will be a point where they will run out of information. They will run out of spirit. They will run out of drive. It just is the way that it is. If he is put first, then the drive continues. The spark is sparked. The flame is burning and gets brighter. And you will benefit. You cannot help but benefit with working with God. Working with him is a great benefit and he will teach you many things about yourself, and you will be enlightened and grow in wisdom and understanding. Because wisdom is sometimes something that does not seem quite right, but in the end is the ultimate test of truth. Sometimes our truth seems very logical, and God's truth does not. But do not be put down by that. You will dis discover that when he speaks, and even if it doesn't make sense, just like when he spoke to Abraham and Sarah and said that in their old age they would have a child. Who would figure that a man of in his 90s or maybe 100 would have a child with his wife of the same age does not compute but it is within God's wisdom that this happened. And you may doubt it, and you may push it aside, and you may say whatever you want about it, but when God declares it, it is true. When Solomon had to decide which mother was greatest, I've used this example before, but one was a mother and one had stolen the child, and they both came before the king and said, the, both mothers said, it's my baby. And so he took the child and said, all right, we will divide the child in two so that each can have half. But the true mother said, oh, no, no. She did not want her child to be divided. Give it to the other woman. And that is how Solomon knew the true mother of the child. But did that sound logical to you to divide the child in half? But it, sometimes God's wisdom does not sound logical, but it will come to a sound conclusion. Oh no, don't be, don't be 
set aside by those that try to fast talk you or con you, you will know that resonation. You will know that they are what they are trying to do because the truth is not there. And if you are of God, you will know the truth. You will know the truth. So therefore, be wise. Although wisdom is also sometimes logical and beautiful and all these things, but some of you will come up against some things that are not logical that God is telling you that he wants you to do. But you must do them anyway, even though they may not make sense at the time, they move you forward. Does that make sense? My love for you is great. And God's love for you is also great. And for you to find your way, you must take out the things that are necessary. Forgive those that you have not forgiven. Find the enough knowledge and understanding. Practice your energies every day until the time comes where you are lifted up and you say, how is that going to be? There's no place for me to go unless I stand on a corner and preach. But that is not so. Opportunities will come for you when the time is right. So be patient, my children. Be patient and love God. For he is there to help you on your way, in the correct time, in the correct way, in the correct bringing out of the talents that are truly and purely yours. Is there any questions? Are there any questions in the room? My. You've, you you, you silenced everyone. I have a question. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Elijah, uh, your words are so healing and so true. And infinite thanks for your wisdom. It's very touching. Thank you. And much thanks for the, all the work that you do as well. Your preparation is great, for the next life will be a time of great challenges, but of great reward as well, of great opportunities that you will take. Be aware of all the things around you at all times, for you are growing and your eyes are gathering information all the time. Your love is undying, for those that have helped through many generations and many lifetimes. This will be rewarded as well. You know, I have, uh, could, I, could you access insect toys who I am healing at this point? And do they have a message? Yes, they have a message. They hear what you are doing, and there are others that are joining you with this healing process. Wonderful. I am really happy because we have to learn, all of us, to unite in love. Doesn't Correct. matter. The, yes, so that is what I am actually practicing. Just uh, heal those who nobody wants to heal. <laughs> yes. so that there, is... <laughs> there are many prejudices out there still, even in the community of unconditional love, so to speak because there are fears. You see, fear is a destroyer. Fear is an uneducator. Fear pushes you away instead of draws you in. When people see fear in you, do they want to follow you? No. When people see fear in you, do they want to listen to you? No, they want confidence, they want truth. They want what is real. And fear is a disguise to those who do not want to show their true face. And do not be one of those, dear children, that lets everything frighten you, that you are being afraid of everything. The message of this day and age is to 
let fear pass and to be the courageous person and show the true light that is within you. Fear blocks the light away from your face. If you are speaking to someone and you are not a lit with God's joy and power and truth, then all they can see is just another face. But if you take the fear away and take all the petitions away that hide the flame that is within you, then they will see that example, the truth that is something that they would want to be a part of, something that draws them in, the truth, the love, the joy. That is what you are an example of. And if you are not that example, find a way to shed that negativity that blocks that example. Thank you. Um, Eva has a question. Yes. It's actually Chloe. Oh, okay. Oh, Chloe uh, has a question. <laughs> hi. Um, Hello. I was... I was just wondering by any chance, it's wonderful to speak to you, if I could just have, I guess, general advice on what to do in my life. Like, not any specific um, thing that's happening, but just general advice to move forward, maybe. I see where you are, and you're going through many changes right now. So you are wanting to know which direction is the right direction. As you make changes in your life, as you move forward, remember this. Be yourself, for one thing. Draw on God to help you with your problems, for another thing. Make yourself unconditional love, and you will move forward and even though there are those that might not want to receive that kind of information right now, it is the information that will make a change in everyone. Unconditional love changes the atmosphere, changes people, and changes you. When you learn how to love everyone that all alike, I'm not talking about passion, but I'm talking about in general, if you learn to love everyone the same and give them the same fairness, the same understanding, and when they speak negatively, you learn to accept that with love and return love for that. Because remember this, when they speak negatively, they're not speaking really of you, they're speaking of themselves. This is what is inside of them that is coming out and they want you to identify with it so you can be more like them and they can be more on your level. But that is not what you want. You want them to identify with your unconditional love. You want them to un identify with your thoughts and your dreams. I do not know where you went. But I hope you are all right. Oh, She's so still here. Um, people, when you please come in the room, please make sure you're muted. But that just was someone coming in and out. No worries. Ah, very well. Mm. So you understand that the guidance I have for you is mostly to be yourself and pray that you are more and more like God. Not that you have to stop doing this or that or the other thing. God is not here to stop you from being yourself, but to provide freedom for the soul, for the way that you live your life. Not that you can't play cards or dance or whatever it is that they say you can't do, but resonate with it within yourself if it's right for you. Because each individual knows right and wrong instinctively but they let other people tell them what right and wrong is learn for yourself what is right for you and who you are don't let other people force you into a corner and say this is what's right for you you have to do this you must do what is right for you and that is my advice do what is right for you 
do what is good for you, but not harming others. If what is right for you seems to be harming someone else, I would reevaluate that because what is right for people is usually right for people together. Right for people to join together and not in a selfish way, but in a selfless way where you can share yourself in a way that is kind and good. And you don't have to worry about hatred or dishonor because your courage is there to face it. You can face these negative things and say, why is it that you feel that way? Why is it that you must act this way? I just am curious because in my heart, you are love just as I am love but yet you choose to bring out negativity or something else. I'm not judging you, but I want to know. I want to know who you are and why you are this way. And it's truthful that love will want to know the truth about everyone. They will want to know the deepest heartfelt desires and why there is so much disappointment, and why there is so much deceit, and why there are so many lies. Why, why, why? When love can overcome these things, and you should be brave enough to be able to tell the truth about yourself and about others without fearing someone coming after you or someone disliking you, but it does happen. And it is because, A, they may be jealous or envious of who you are because you can be yourself and be happy and be loving and kind, and they cannot at this time do that. But love them anyway. Your job is to be yourself. It is not your job to control anyone or any situation, God will do that through you. If you show your true light, he will control the situation as he sees fit. And if harm comes to you, then also glory comes to you, but he will keep you alive and he will keep you learning. But be brave, my children. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That's a beautiful message. Thank you, Elijah. Um, there's a question from the chat. It's actually from two different people, but it's they're very close together. So I'm going to combine them if that's okay. Um, that's Peter, uh, Pete says, I'm experiencing some kind of feeling that's very negative and I'm asking for healing. I, I'd like a heart healing. And then Zach says, I really have a hard time. He says, I really suck at loving and accepting myself. Any advice? I think they're yes. a bit combined. So. These are the things that I am talking about. These are the things that stop missions. These are the things that stop all movement in your life. The reason why you feel this, these things is because you allow yourself to. Not that that is a bad, that you should be punished for that. Many people find that they feel that they are not worthy or that negativity comes to them because they feel, because they are open to it in some way. It is a curiosity, it is a mystery, it is a, a challenge for them. But let me tell you, my brothers that are there, these things God can relieve. Forgive yourself, Zach. You are wonderful, although you do not see that. Forgive yourself for anything that the past may have done to you or made you feel about yourself, because it is not true. You are a child of God as much as anyone else. You are a child of God and worthy as much as anyone else. And if you need me to come and put my hand right on your heart, I will do so. 
because I want you to know that I love you and that I see who you are. And there is a mission there. And you must get rid or shed or bring in the light so that it will push out that which is not true for you. Feeling this way is not a truthful feeling. You are lying to yourself if you are not feeling worthy. You are lying to yourself if you feel that you are not a good person. You must move forward. You must accept that God loves you. And you must accept that he can move out negative energy, Pete. Peter. There is energy here for you, positive and loving and good. Before this channel session started, there was entities here trying to make this being not want to channel today. Upsetting him, and he did not know why, but he said, I'm going to continue. God is here. God wants to speak. God is in the message, so I must let it go forth. And those of you that are around trying to stop it, I won't let you. Other people in this room also felt that energy, also, also felt that tension. But you know what? The truth comes forth, whether negativity wants it to or not. And I speak to the negativity in you and say this. Be gone. You do not belong in good people. You do not belong where you only are there to torture. Go to those that love you. If they love negativity, go to them. For you will have a home there and be relaxed. But with my loving children, God would say, let the negativity pass. Let love come in. Let me love you. And this may be actually making you feel even worse. I want you to respond now and tell me how you are feeling at this moment. Let them respond and let me know what they say. Have you, have they said anything? Ah, uh, perhaps they will not respond. Looks like Karen left and those people were in the webinar, uh, chat so we cannot really access them so maybe i see you uh -huh. see they're stopping them from communicating with yes. higher, higher positivity they are blocking the higher positivity from them it's because the intercessor the host was taken out of the room yes but how negativity will try to work its way but do not let it confound you or make you any less positive because we will continue in a great light no matter what. Your words are very clear and anybody who seek advice, it will understand very clear because the energy is powerful. The words are very wise and we all can understand. It just takes time to process but anybody can understand very clear your message it just takes time to it is time to process let me right. tell you something else that i was leading up to with all these things that i said about guidance and your mission and things of this nature there is no one really prepared to start their mission in some ways there is always something coming at you there is always things that are seem to hold you back. But let me tell you this. Many missions will start soon. Be ready. Keep yourself 
enlightened. Keep yourself looking at God's energy and love. Keep yourself as in tune as possible for the time is coming very soon when many missions will start and they will start suddenly. Sometimes he does not give you weeks to prepare. He will give you a maybe a little time, but you will feel it coming. And it is soon. Wow. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, Lila. Slava. All right. So, so I'll post it on the chat box. That was in the, the one that was before. So everyone can come back. Yeah. Yes. We're off the air now. Yeah, so we'll start in just a second. I just want to send this to everyone again like in, the, in the paid group. Okay, oh, okay. I'll put it there also. So just get this other thing set. Okay, well, now we're in a room for 20 too. So that should be, that'll solve all the other issues. Okay, great. Um, that'll be good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Elijah will come back at this point, but... Okay. He was, well, you know, maybe whatever was said when we went off air was only for the people who were in the room. That's the way you got to look possible, at it. It's possible, but you know? I think they, uh, someone wanted to stop that message. I've been feeling it from the very beginning. You said there was some negative energy, yeah? When you and we shut it, but well, then I will tell you, over and shut that you down. Was speaking directly to me. Um, uh -huh. I really, really heard you. So I heard them, Elijah. So Yes. Yeah. Important so I'm sorry I missed it. Exactly <laughs> was, but he said it's very important. It was. It was uh, the message was about love. What he was. What Elijah no, was that. saying. Yeah. And, and I had the message, and he started to answer the other questions. I posted. Yeah. I said the question for the two people, and then it went down for me. So. Yeah, the answers was the same. What she, what he was saying before. The essence was the same. Okay, good. Do you want to go ahead and start? You ready to jump? Ready to go? Okay. Um, let me uh, give it one second. We have people in the bathroom and <laughs> okay. walking all around and all things. Right. So. Yeah, let me make sure my sound, because my sound's, a, I have two sound things happening here. Yeah, make sure okay. everything's cool and we'll read. We'll read. Okay. We were hearing from Elijah when um, the video went down, and I don't know who's coming back, if he's coming back or uh, if someone else is coming in, Jim. So, I do not know, but All we'll right. see who comes. Okay. I think that, he, I don't think he's coming back, actually. Okay. Um, I think somebody else will come, but I'm not sure who. We'll see who that is. Okay, so well, just everybody it's good uh, pre-eclipse uh, energy, so. Yes, yeah. we have eclipse, and this is pre-eclipse um, webinar, so there's a lot of energies moving, yeah. all different kinds of energies, so. Bring in the positive side of those energies and we'll move forward. And here we go. Awesome. I will do a meditation okay. and we'll see who comes this time. Awesome. Thank you. Much love. Much love. 